Welcome to another video. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your teacher says the question is very easy, but you just don't know what to do because you had never seen that before? And something like this happened to me when I took real analysis. And the teacher put this question as a bonus question and asked us to do a proof that required us using the fixed point. But the problem was I did not know what the fixed point of a function was and I did not attempt the question and I lost 10 points for that. Okay, don't lose 10 points. If you already know what a fixed point is, then you can answer this. If you don't, let's get into the video. So what exactly is the fixed point of a function? Well, it's, I think it's the name that makes it look or sound complicated. The fixed point of a function is the point where the input is the same thing as the output. That is, where f of x is equal to x. That's it. So we can say, The fixed point of f of x is at xx, where when you put in x, you get x. So in order to find your fixed point, you just have to replace f, f of x with x, because then we can solve this equation. That's it. Let's do it. So what we have is x will be equal to, or let's write it as f of x will be equal to x, and we've defined f of x to be one plus x, minus one half of x squared. So if we isolate just this part, we're gonna just have x equals one plus x minus one half of x squared. And we can subtract x from both sides so that zero will be equal to one minus one half of x squared. If we multiply everything by two, what do we get? We get zero equals two minus x squared. So that x squared is equal to two and x will be plus or minus the square root of two. So our fixed point will be when x equals square root of two and when x equals minus square root of two. So our fixed points are, first, when x is square root of two, our output, y, is also gonna be square root of two. And when x is negative square root of two, y also will be negative square root of two. That's it. That's how I lost 10 points because I didn't know what this meant. Now you know it. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.